What's good family? So mash the like button and subscribe. Now, I couldn't resist but to post this. Billy Ho Saunders. Again, my man's got no seatbelt on. But in fact, both of the Dons in the car got no seatbelt on. Now listen, I don't care if you've got no seatbelt on, but at the end of the day, man, this cat was driving like a tier one mup. I made a video a few days ago about people being muppets. I always get man in my comments saying, "Why be? Stop, stop picking on certain on certain types of people." What are you talking about? A anyone who's a muppet gets it. Name me one person who hasn't got it who's a mupp. Huh? Name me one. Show, show, show one person who's a mupp here who ain't got no smoke. So what you man need to do is wind your neck in and stop defending muppish behaviour. Now I don't mind, yeah. If you want to drive like an idiot, that's your business. But do it. In your own, you know what I'm saying? Do it in your own little way. If you, you know, get on a racetrack and drive like an idiot. Don't be putting other people at risk. And I wouldn't mind you, but at this particular time here, when Mr. Big Mouth and had nothing to say about when he jacked, but he's putting videos out, cutting learner drivers up, as you saw there. He's got no seatbelt on. Got a phone in his hand. Cutting learner drivers up. Undertaking people. What's wrong with this cat? Speeding it looks like as well. The way he was weaving in and out of people. What's wrong with him? And the thing is with these kind of cats, yeah? Other people get hurt. But because he's famous, he'll be the... Oh, Billy, Billy... Oh. Just for example, Errol Spence. Here's another one. As it happened, he didn't hurt no one. But these cats... F f luckily for Errol Spence, he didn't hurt no one. Intoxicated. What happened to that? <laughs> Since when can you write a car off, yeah, driving 100 mile an hour drunk, and not go to jail? What, what's that about? Now, Billy Ho hasn't crashed, but just, just look how he's driving. Phone in one hand, no belt on, and weaving in and out of traffic. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's, there's people out there who will say, Oh, YB, you're snitching, you're snitching. I don't ask him to put the video out there. Uh, to me personally, yeah, if I want to... I can't sit there and tell you I haven't texted before when I drive, but the difference is, I don't do all things at once. You won't see me speeding and weaving, and if I'm texting, I'm in the slow lane, and you know what I'm saying, one of them ones, one of them cautious ones. I'm not going to be weaving in and out and on the phone with one hand, snapchatting with another, and just do all kinds of madness. That there's irresponsible. Now, some people would, some people, oh, well, you're irresponsible too, yeah, but there's levels to it, man. You have to, you have to be in control. You're not in control. You weren't even in a bit of control. Weaving in and out, speeding and snap. Could, couldn't you Snapchat wait? And again, I don't mind if you're truly reckless, but you weren't reckless. Where's the recklessness with your reaction to the, what happened at the weekend or three weeks ago? Why haven't you put a video out? You got putting videos out being reckless driving. Where's your reckless reaction? We people want to know what happened. It's no good. This is the problem again. It's a little bit like Wilder. Now, to be fair to Wilder, Wilder hasn't done this, but it's the same kind of thing. What happened to these cats is, yeah, you saw Wilder get turned out on international TV. And now on social media, he's posting videos with big guns. He's posting videos with big cars. Things he wasn't doing before. Billy Ho, another one, gets turned out. Jack's in the corner. And now he's posting videos, you see him speeding up and weaving in and out of it. He must think he's a right hard ass. That's the only that's the only thing that makes sense to me. He must think, oh I'm in my G Wagon and the fans are gonna see me speeding along and they're gonna really rate this. I look really cool speeding along and weaving in and out and, and cutting up learner drivers and I must be well hard. No, we don't, Billy. We think you're a mup. And again, if you was bad here, yeah, I wouldn't even make this video. When, when, before you got turned out, I didn't even care what you was doing, but now, I'm on your neck. Now, until you come out, yeah, and own it, I'm, the YB gonna stay on your neck. You need to come out and say, listen, the bottom line is, yeah, if you've got time to make videos speeding and being a jackass, you've got time to put a video out, and it's no good saying, oh, thanks for all the fans, and no, we wanna know what happened. Because you was ten the week before, you was taunting Alvarez, or allegedly, <laughs> you thought you was. You was sitting there saying you was in his head. So we want to know, 
people who paid pay-per-view have the right to know what happened. Why did you... We want to know how you... For months and years before, you talked about Daniel Dubois. Go out on your back, brother. Brother. Go on, brother. Oh! Oh! Go on, brother. Oh! Go out on your back. Oh! You were giving it all that he was. And now you, you're putting videos out, weaving in that traffic and cutting people up and whatnot. Speeding along like you're a jackass. Where is the jackass reaction? Because it seems Coogie, Coogie Bear, all the MTK shillers won't ask you. So I'll do it instead. The people want to know where your reaction is. We don't want to see videos of you being an idiot. We've seen plenty of them over the years. And it was alright, because guess what? You was a winner. Everyone loves a winner. Everyone excuses a winner, but now... When it came... When it came to find out who you are, you weren't who you thought you was. You weren't the jackass. Why are you putting videos out driving like a jackass? You're not a jackass. You're a good boy. You're a good... You're a good... You know what I'm saying? You're a good boy, Billy. Yeah, you're a smart man. Let's not forget that. Because... Again... People say things like, Oh, YB, he's smart. Tyrone Booth. For, Tyrone Booth, yeah. Tyrone Booth came out and said, Oh, Billy's smart. Billy's smart for not... Billy's smart for not getting hurt, and yeah, Billy should get his money and get out, he's very smart, it's really, it's a really good thing to do, it's a really smart thing to do. So that's who you are, Billy, you're a smart, good boy, that's what you are, simple as that. Let's not make up you're a jackass again. And this is the same thing I'm telling you, the toxic masculinity. You couldn't prove it in the ring, because you could have said, you know what, I'm not going to post a video Snapchatting. Like I'm hard, speeding along in my G-Wagon and weaving in and out of traffic on video, trying to get my masculinity back. Instead, I'm going to tough it out and come out for round nine. Yeah? I'm not going to do no goofy things about talking about what I do with my missus and whatnot. And I'm not going to put videos out talking about sleeping with another man's wife. I'm going to prove my masculinity in the ring where it counts, where I've been talking about it for years. That's what you could have done. And you know what? If that had happened, if you'd have come out for the round 9 and finished the fight off, this video wouldn't as exist because I'd think, you know what? He's earned the right to drive like a jackass. Because he proved he's that way inclined. He's proved he's got that just ruthless mentality. That never say, you know what I mean? He's got that on the edge mentality, that daredevil mentality. You haven't got that. You're not a daredevil. You're jacked. You got hit once and you got a bit of a bruising, a bit of a marking and hopped out. And the MTK cover-up cabal stepped in. So don't be posting, no one wants to see you driving around like a jackass, you're not that guy Billy, you're not. You, you're, you're a scary looking ass. you're a smart man. Like, like, like Tyrone Booth said, Tyrone Booth said, you are a smart and calculating man, you're not a jackass, you're not, you're not ruthless, yeah? You're not, you don't run on impulses, like you think you'd like, like, pe the world, the way the world is, yeah, people like to appear... Like they're, well, especially Billy anyway, they like to appear, same as Fury to be fair, same as Tyson, but let's stick on Billy. Billy likes to appear as if he's, oh, he's a goer. Oh, you never know what will happen. He's just, he's just completely ferocious and he'll do, you know what I'm saying? Like he's really on edge. He's really an edgy individual. Oh, look, he's weaving in and out of traffic on his phone with no seatbelt on. Oh, he's real edgy, is Billy. But guess what? When your calling came, when God pulled out your, when God pulled out your edgy card, Let's see how edgy Billy really is, because we've seen him on the internet, we've seen him on the Snapchat, we've seen him in the G-Wagon, thinking he's real edgy, but let's see how edgy you really are. Let's see how edgy he is when he gets bopped once, and his legs are a bit tired. And guess what? There was no edginess left, yeah? Where was your edginess then? Because the fans are done with it now, I don't care. Yes, you've got some, yes, you'll have a few Schiller fans, who, who whatever you do, they'll support it, because they're Schillers. But deep down, everyone knows, you ain't edgy. Because if you had any edginess, you'd have said, you know what, I'm edgy. I'm a daredevil. I'm going to give it to this man. But you didn't. You didn't want no more. And you begged Ben. You got Ben to chew your ear off to pull you out. Because Mark was going to send you back in there as well. And right on, and rightly so. You had a bit of bruising. Back out you go, Billy. Yeah? So now it's time to start earning some of that behavior you've, you've been doing over the years because you've racked up a nice hymn sheet you've racked up a nice record sheet of, of trying to be edgy yeah doing edgy things things that 
aren't acceptable in normal society. But people let people give people let you off and say, you know what? Fair enough. He's just that way inclined. He's just edgy. Where was the edginess? You shriveled up. All the, you didn't listen when it came to it. Yeah, when God pulled your edgy card out, you didn't want no more edginess. You was begging God to get you out of there. Like I said the other day, you was ringing down the ITV executives. Make me a show. I'm a jacker. Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity jacker. You know what I'm saying? One of them ones. No doubt. You didn't want to be there no more. You weren't trying to weave. Listen, when Alvarez whooped you, well, not even whooped you. When Alvarez hit you once on your eye, yeah, you didn't want to be weaving in and out of no traffic then. You didn't want to be having no seatbelt on. You wanted your seatbelt on and you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? You was, you listen, you was obeying all the laws. After, his, after Alvarez bopped you on the eye. You were desperate to get out of there. You'd, listen, you'd have done anything to get out of that situation. There wasn't no edginess left, was there? There wasn't no daredevil in you. So don't, so don't be coming out now and trying to kind of brush it all over like it didn't happen. Oh, look, look, guys. I'm still here. Look, I'm still, I'm still edgy. I'm still, I'm still a daredevil. Look, I'm driving in and out. I'm weaving in and out of the cars on Snapchat. That's what Billy's trying to do here. Trying to convince everyone he's still a jack. Oh, look, no, no, Bill, Bill still got it. Look, honestly, I swear down, you'll see fans in his comment section saying, Oh, why be no, he's, he's still got it. Look, no, no, he's still a daredevil. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you can't have it both ways. You can't get bopped once and hop out and, and everyone say Tyrone Booth give you credit saying, Oh, no, he's a smart man. Yeah, no, he saved his eye. And then with the same breath, embrace. Him, him, embrace him driving and doing things like an idiot. Cause it, you can't get, but you can't be both people. You're either, in my book or in a, in in the true book of morals. Yeah, you're either one or the other. You're either a complete. I, I I rate either. I rate either people. To be fair, if you're just completely reckless, yeah, and you want to drive in and out of traffic on your phone, but you back it up, I can work with that. You wouldn't again. You wouldn't see this video. Because I think, I, I respect that. If you're just truly a daredevil, yeah, who just, you know what I'm saying, you, you're, you're happy to put yourself in, in dodgy situations and live through it, I have to respect it. What I don't respect is, when it was your life, when you're putting your life at risk, or when it was your face at risk, when it was your eye at risk, you didn't want no more. You didn't want no more, you hopped out, you are begging for help. So don't be putting other people at risk now, because when it was your life, when it was your eye, you was begging for help. He was begging for the doctors to save you, so don't so don't be putting pe other people's lives at risk because you're not you're not you're not that way inclined. When it was your kin on the line, you was out of there. So no more weaving in and out of traffic, no more on your phone. You best put your seatbelt on, put your phone down, two hands on the wheel, and drive sensibly because you ain't that guy you thought you was. And again, there'll be fans out there who try and gas you up. Oh, Bill, look at Bill. Bill, yeah, Bill's a right hard man. Look. He's weaving in and out of traffic on his phone. Oh, yeah, Bill. Yeah, Bill. I doubted you for a second, but you've still got it. You're a muppet about you've still got it. That's what they're saying, no doubt. 100% they'll be Billy. I saw, I saw the video. I saw the comments. This came out yesterday. I saw the comments. There was people in there saying, oh, Bill. Oh, I worried. I was worrying for you. I was worrying about you for a second, but look, you've still got it, Bill. Yeah, go on, Bill. Yeah, you weaving in and out of them cars, Bill. Go on. Oh yeah, Bill. Turn the music up, Bill. All that kind of stuff. 100% they was in there. You're an embarrassment. When you're, when, if you, if people, when, when, when masculinity really mattered, yeah, you didn't have none. When masculinity really mattered, you didn't have none. It's no good paying some nitty to hit someone else. Oh, pay, oh I'm going to pay a nitty £10 to pit him. It's no good doing that. It's no good picking the phone up and ringing some man about how you noshed his wife. It's no good picking your phone up and snapchatting, weaving in and out of cars and cutting learners up. That's not going to get it back for you, Billy. Because when you was there, you got turned out. You haven't got no masculinity, unfortunately. Alvarez took it from you. Alvarez bent you over and pushed your, pushed your stuff right in for you. Yeah? And you can, you, can, you, can, you can convince all the low IQ dons, but we, the real people, know. The real people have got your number. You ain't no hard ass. You ain't no daredevil. That's not you. You're not that guy. You're a good boy, Billy. Yeah? You're a good man. You should wear his seatbelt. You're a good law-abiding citizen. Because when, when your time came, 
Do you see how much of a daredevil, see how much of a toxic masculinity Don you was? You didn't have none. There wasn't no masculinity in you. You was out of there. You was begging Ben, chewing Bear's ear off, to get you out of there. ASAP, no doubt.